Why are the baking soda is so much beneficial in kidney failure patients? 3.4 goes slow but 4 to 5 goes fast that the progression of the kidney failure disease can be easily. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will learn the importance of baking soda in kidney failure patients. Baking soda is something which we use in bakery items to make them fluffy. But this baking soda can be very helpful, especially in the patient of kidney failure. Now the question arises, why the baking soda is so much beneficial in kidney failure patients? When a person suffers from kidney failure, what is happening that the function of the kidney is diminished now. The kidney is not able to filter waste material from the blood. Now what is happening? This waste material is getting accumulated in the body, including ketonin, urea, and other waste material which is known as acid, which is secreted by our cells during its metabolism also get accumulated. Because of this accumulation of acid, the pH of the blood falls. Just to maintain that pH, sodium bicarbonate can be helpful. Because of this accumulation of acid in the blood, what is happening is that the pH of the blood is going down. Because blood is becoming acidic. And because of this acid in the blood, the condition of metabolic acidosis starts. What is happening now is that because of this accumulation of acid in the body, when the blood goes into the kidney, this acid also causes further damage to the kidney and this condition is known as metabolic acidosis. Just to stop this metabolic acidosis in the body, all nephrologists suggest use of baking soda because baking soda is also known as sodium bicarbonate and it works like a buffer. When we administer this drug into the body, what is happening? Because when a patient of kidney failure takes sodium bicarbonate, what happens? This sodium bicarbonate reacts with the acid which is accumulated in the blood neutralize that acid resulting in better pH level of the blood. Because once the level of the ketonin raised above 3.5 for what is happened, there is enough acid in the blood which can cause metabolic acidosis which can cause further damage to the kidney. Therefore, once the patient of kidney failure reaches the level of 3.5 or 4, what happens? The speed of raise of ketonin in the body also increases. So 3.4 goes slow but 4 to 5 goes fast, 5 to 6 go more much more faster. So if we want to control this progression of kidney failure disease, baking soda can be helpful. So all the patients of kidney failure are suggested to take sodium bicarbonate just to control the metabolic acidosis in the body. Now the question arises how much amount of sodium bicarbonate should be taken in a patient of kidney failure. So if your level of ketonin is around 3.5 mg per deciliter, that means you can take 500 mg of sodium bicarbonate thrice a day. That will be enough for your body because there is very small amount of accumulation of acid in the body. When your level increases above 4, 5, 6, 7, the amount of sodium bicarbonate also increases because there is much more accumulation of acid in the body. You have to take 1 gram of sodium bicarbonate thrice a day, that means 3 grams of sodium bicarbonate in a day. To judge the level of acid in the body, there is a test which is known as serum bicarbonate. Serum bicarbonate levels tell us about the acid, level of acid in the body. If the level of serum bicarbonate is below 22, that means your blood is acidic. You have to increase the amount of sodium bicarbonate in the body. You have to increase the amount of baking soda. And when the level of serum bicarbonate reaches around 22, 23, 24, that means the amount of acid is very much well regulated. You don't have to increase the amount of serum bicarbonate. So we have to control the level of serum bicarbonate in the body of a kidney failure so that the progression of the kidney failure disease can be easily controlled. That's why all the patients of science engineering who are taking treatment for kidney failure disease are advised to go for KFT along with the serum bicarbonate test so that the level of serum bicarbonate can be easily judged. Now you know the importance of serum bicarbonate in the body. Now you can easily maintain your serum bicarbonate with the help of baking soda also known as sodium bicarbonate. If you have any kind of question inquiry regarding kidney failure, you can simply call on the doctors, our doctors on the number given below. You can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this, I'm um, say goodbye. See you in the next video.